Saving lives is not easy. Sometimes we don't know how to prevent disease or death, which is tragic. But there are millions of lives we know exactly how to save. We can save them easily and cost-effectively with vaccines. I like to say that vaccines are miracles. They're miracles because giving children a couple of drops or a shot in the arm can prevent some of the worst childhood diseases for a lifetime. And that, to me, is a miracle. Measles is one of the most contagious diseases in the world. But just two shots make a child immune to measles forever. And each dose costs just 18 cents. Because of this vaccine, the number of children who die from measles has gone down from 2.5 million to less than 200,000 in less than 30 years. One of the greatest vaccine stories is playing out right now. It's the story of polio. Most people don't know that polio cases are down 99% worldwide. There are only four countries in the world where transmission of the disease has never been stopped. Those four are Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and Nigeria. Only one disease has ever been completely eradicated. That's smallpox. And because of vaccination, polio is on the threshold of being the second. The polio campaign takes an enormous commitment. In India, for example, there are two million volunteers working in the fight against polio. Twice a year, they set up 800,000 vaccination booths around the country at schools, hospitals, and community centers. After that, they visit more than 200 million houses one by one. Then they go to train stations, bus stations, and ferry terminals to put polio drops in the mouths of all the children. All that hard work is paying off. Just 41 kids in India suffered from polio in 2010. I feel confident that India will soon stop transmission of polio entirely. With numbers that low, it's tempting to say, we've done enough. It's not worth putting in the enormous effort to take care of the last few pockets of polio. There are two reasons why that's the wrong way to look at it. The first reason is that it's impossible to keep polio at these low levels indefinitely. Over time, the virus would spread back into countries where it's been eliminated, like it did in Russia last year, and will go back to the days when polio was a terrifying threat for millions of families. We have seen that polio anywhere is a threat everywhere. The second reason we can't stop now is that finishing the job will energize the whole world around the great cause of saving children's lives. Big victories, like eradicating a disease, make us proud of what human beings are able to do for one another. And that pride inspires us to do even more. Vaccines save lives. They're the simplest, most inexpensive, most effective way to give all children a shot at a healthy, productive life.